Like many car enthusiasts, I've had a project sitting for years. I didn't have a garage till recently, and this is the project. A 92 Volvo 240, doesn't look pretty, and not supposed to. So this is the engine we put in it. Uh, this was a 4.8 out of a Chevy Silverado. Uh, pulled it from a yard, complete with all the uh, harnesses. I have all the accessories in a box somewhere. Uh, cost about 700 bucks. Also pulled a transmission. This is a 4L ADE out of a Chevy Express fan. I think it was a 2001. I think that ran me about 125 bucks. This is a Ford Explorer rear end. It's an 8.8, .8, also out of a 2001. At the same time, I grabbed a, I believe it's a driver's side. There are two different length axles, so I grabbed the extra ones, the short and one side. That cost me about 100 bucks. Uh, one of the delays, uh, not having a garage, trying to get the transmission. Um, this isn't the lightest transmission in the world. So I picked up this transmission jack. Uh, Harbor Freight, I think it was about 160 bucks. Um, use, gonna use it at least once. I'm gonna have to probably get it on the jack underneath the car, which could be a little troublesome. Uh, do have a turbocharger I'm gonna put on it as well. Um, classic eBay turbocharger. Probably the high dollar parts in the car right now are gonna be the motor mounts and the oil pan. So if you can see right here, there's one mount, there's another, I uh, had a guy off of, uh, I think it was a Turbo Bricks form for Volvos, he was making for the LS swaps as they've become pretty popular. This is the Holly conversion pan, fits right over perfectly. <clears throat> Could have gone with the 4L60E, but I wanted to have a little tougher transmission, uh, so we'll see how that works out as well. The, um, these are turbo manifolds for the LS, and they're a little bit too big. They were coming out to about right here. So I'm gonna go with the, the truck manifolds. Uh, just had one clean it with a brake cleaner this morning. Uh, we'll pop it back on, see how it fits, and then we'll see if we can get this transmission under the car and bolt it up, and then I'll have to have, uh, Maybe someone with some more fabrication skills, shorten the rear end, get that mounted in there. Also going to need a drive shaft as well as um, transmission cross number. All right, so we have the stock truck exhaust manifolds flipped upside down for test fitment. Looks pretty good. I think we can work with that. Give me an idea of what I was going to use in terms of size. So you can see how far... That stuck out it would be a problem with probably the radiator, the cooling, and all that. So uh, we'll roll with this. Maybe down the line we'll uh, paint it up, et cetera, or uh, get a custom one built, but this is going to work for now. Currently underneath the car, here's the back of the engine. As you can see, what kind of clearance we're working with. And then here's the transmission. So we'll probably have to test fit it a couple of times, do a little clearance in to get this to fit properly. So first test fit, I actually have a lot more room than I originally thought. Popped off the intake manifold to get a better, better look. Looks like the top of the transmission is going to hit the tunnel. Um, take a look down here. So very top of that transmission is going to hit the bottom of the floorboard of the, excuse me, the, uh, the transmission tunnel. So we'll uh, massage that with a hammer and then retest fit it. So I got the transmission fitted in, put up the old cross member just to help hold it in place. In terms of the clearancing issues, 
a uh, few things we did uh, number one this ear right here uh, just cut it off it wasn't gonna serve any purpose in this car and was hitting the hitting the, um, the floorboard or the firewall right here up top had to hammer a little bit grind and cut but uh, fit it in uh, we uh, jacked it up sent it a little too much I'm pretty sure that sensor wasn't gonna work anyway so we'll have to uh, clearance this area right here and get a new sensor no big deal just one more look from the front end there you can see Jack is just tilting the back end up to help get the bolts in up front but can take that out and ain't gonna go anywhere right now.